In this video, we talk about the timing for East Coast Swing. What's up, gang? Brian B. from SocialDanceOnline.com. We're going to have a quick discussion about the basic timing of East Coast Swing. Now, as a social dancer, if you're dancing uh, comfortably, who the heck cares? But if you want to deepen your understanding, we're going to take a little ride. This video is going to include a little bit of music and a demonstration and a song suggestion that you can practice along to improve your timing to be more swingy for East Coast Swing. All right, so when we talk about a triple step in East Coast Swing, right, we would typically say something like one and two, right? And if we took um, all of our full basic, we'd go one and two, one and two, one, two, one and two, one and two, one, two, something like that, right? So a triple step has, pop quiz, how many steps? Three, triple step, three steps. How many beats of music? Two. Here are our two beats of music. We've got this beat here, and we've got this beat here. So if we have one step here on the first beat of music and we have one on the second, where does the third step go? The third step is actually going to go, even though we kind of say one and, it's actually going to go over here on the uh. And that's going to give us an uneven swing to our East Coast Swing. Now we're going to do a little demonstration of this so you can follow along, but stick with me for just a second. So if we to put the, the step on the and in the middle, we would basically be subdividing this beat of music here into a half beat and a half beat of music. And then, of course, this would be a whole beat over here. However, we want to swing with our East Coast Swing, so we're not going to do that. We're going to put the first step over here on the one, right? We're going to put the second step on the uh. So what we've done is we've created three quarters of a beat of music right, all of this time, then a quarter beat of music over here, and then of course our whole, please excuse my handwriting, it's very difficult to write on the other side of the board. So we're going to dance three quarter, a uh, three quarter, quarter whole. So let's take this whiteboard out of the way and let's practically get to this within our basic. All right, so if we're going to use our timing to put a little bit of swing in our East Coast Swing, let's break it down. I'm going to do this on the leader's footwork, but we'll do the triples back and forth so followers, you can catch up. The triple step's the same either way. Um, so leaders, if we're doing three steps in two beats of music, first thing we have to do is make sure that the first two steps are small because we have to put two of them in that first beat of music. Second thing we'll do is worry about where in the, song, where in the beat it goes. So first thing I have to do is make sure that this is a shortened step. So I almost think of this as a pause step on the ball of my foot. So if I'm doing a triple to the left and a triple to the right, I'm going to go underneath me for one, a two, three, a four. So just do that with me. One, a two, three, a four. But let's get a little bit more technical. We're going to count out for the sake of learning all of the quarter beats. So we're going to step one. We're going to hold E and we're going to replace to the right foot for a uh, and step two. Let's do that one more time. We have one E and a uh, two. Then we do it the other way. One E and a uh, two. So if you notice, I'm waiting past the and beat. Now typically when we learn basic East Coast Swing, this is a perfectly acceptable way to think about it, is one and two, one and two, rock step for our basic, right? But if we want to add some swing, we want to have some unevenness to the triple step. So what we're going to have to do is pause or hold for three quarters of a beat, as long as you can on that first bit of the step. So we have one E and a two, one E and a two. So same thing, leaders and followers, cool? So that's what I want you to focus on. We have a song called Texas Techno, so you can actually find that right here on YouTube. It'll be in the description below as well, but you can play this. And for practice speed, we're gonna slow this down to 75%. You can do that right in YouTube. If I talk too fast, you can do it too. Um, in the little uh, gear icon below, you can slow down the speed to 75%. So Miss Megan's gonna play that song, and we're gonna do it a couple different ways. First, I'm gonna do it correctly, then I'm gonna do it incorrectly, and then I'm gonna give you a drill that you can really understand and practice. All right, here we go. Texas Techno in five, six, seven, and one, a two, one, a two, one, a two, one, a two. So this is holding one and a two, one and a two, one and a two, one and a two, one and a two. So that's very uneven. If we do it in half beats, it will flatten itself out in five, six, seven, eight. 
one and two, one and two, one and two. It's very even, right? Half, half, whole, half, half, whole, half, half, whole, half, half, whole, three quarter, quarter, whole, three quarter, quarter, whole, three quarter, quarter, whole, quarter, quarter, whole. Cool? Now, what you can do if you have the uh, patience for it, if you play the song and dance it in. Sorry. If you play the song again, if you play the song and dance it um, half time, you're going to have a lot of time. So I find in working with students that when we're doing this to speed, it's very difficult to understand. So the short answer is just to shorten this first step and wait. One E and a two, three E and a four. So I kind of would say it like hold and go, hold and go, and my rock step. Cool. But if you want to dig in and really master this, not necessary for social dancing, but if you made it as far, you might be a dance nerd like us. You want to do this in half time. So half time to this music, if Miss Megan were to play that again, it's going to look like I'm standing still a long time. You're going to feel the space of time in the music. Here we go. In five, six, seven, eight. One, a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. One E and a two, three E and a four. Cool? So that takes some getting used to, to be able to dance half time to the music. But if you can, another way to do this, if you want a slower song um, that we can't play here on YouTube is Mustang Sally, right? Which is kind of a West Coast swing speed, very slow, but it has a swingy beat. And that is a great one because it's slower. It's going to give you more time. So quick recap, triple step has three steps. How many beats of music? Two. First step goes on the first beginning of the beat of music, one. We hold for the E and the and, and we replace a, uh, right? So this is three quarter, quarter, and whole beat. If we reverse it to the right side, we dance one E and a, uh, two. And that will give you some swing to your East Coast swing. If you guys have any questions, um, shoot us an email, best way to get a hold of us. Go to socialdanceonline.com, enter your email address on the first page, and you will get a free gift. 50 free videos, free membership to our site. You'll also be on our Move of the Week Club, where we'll fire off an email to you to show you some of the best resources that we have created. Um, on that note, since you're watching this, there's a great resource, our ultimate guide to music. So now that I'm thinking about that, you can pick that up in the description below. It includes over 30 practice songs for East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, Two Step, Nightclub, Cha Cha, Waltz, um, tons and tons of uh, cool music. It's all broken out by speed. That's a great resource, totally free. So pick that up in the description below. Head on over to socialdanceonline.com, enter your email address, get your free gift, and uh, shoot us an email or leave us a comment below. And we'll see you again for the next video. Mm -hmm.